Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a golden ln equation. Why do we call it a golden equation? You're going to find out in a little bit. So we have ln e to the power x plus 1 equals 2x, and we're going to be solving for x values. And at the end, we're going to be looking at a graph. So let's go ahead and either use the definition of logarithms, or you can do e to the power both sides e to the power ln e to the power x plus 1 equals e to the power 2x. Now, the rule says e to the power ln something equals something, so this becomes e to the power x plus 1, and the right-hand side is e to the power 2x. So we kind of get a nice equation. This is the type of equation that could be turned into a quadratic. If I write it as e to the power 2x minus e to the power x minus 1 equals 0, and set e to the power x equal to something, how about u, then this becomes a quadratic. Replace e to the power x with u, you get u get u squared minus u minus 1 equals 0. And if you solve this equation, this is where it starts smelling golden, then you're going to be getting the following. From here, u is either 1 plus root 5 over 2 or 1 minus root 5 over 2. So I'm going to write it as 1 plus minus root 5 over 2 by the quadratic formula. And then I'm going to be splitting up into u1 and u2. So there are two roots. Suppose the first one is 1 plus root 5 over 2 and the second one is 1 minus root 5 over 2. Now notice that we're going to set both of these equal to e to the power x because by definition e to the power x is equal to u, right? Therefore we're just going to set u values equal to e to the power x. But there's a problem with the second one because 1 minus root 5 over 2, obviously root 5 is greater than 1. So this is less than 0. But e to the power x can never be 0. I mean, I sh well, it can't be 0, but it can't be negative either. So it's always positive. So we're not going to get a valid solution from here. So the only solution we end up with is going to come from here. I'm not saying that is the solution. It's just a u value. We have to find the x value. Let's go ahead and do that now. So the first one gives me e to the power x equals 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now, this is the golden ratio. That's why we call this a golden equation. Old but gold. To find the x value, we're going to ln both sides. This is kind of like the inverse operation for e to the power something, which we used before. ln e to the x equals ln 1 plus root 5 over 2. And as you know, or you should know, ln e to the power x is the same as x. So from here we get x equals ln 1 plus root 5 all over 2. So that is the x value. When I show you the graph, you're going to get an idea, or you'll have an idea about the value. You can also use a calculator. I believe this is less than 1, uh, but I'm not sure about the numerical value at this point. But anyways, did I say that I will be presenting two methods? I didn't, probably. So here's the second method. So my second method is very similar to the first one, except I'm using a little substitution here. So. I have something inside the parentheses. It makes sense if I call that something, like how about y? If you set e to the power x plus 1 equal to y, e to the power x plus 1 equal to y, then from here e to the power x becomes y minus 1. And if you ln both sides, you get ln e to the x equals ln y minus 1. And then from here you get x equals ln y minus 1. By the way, ln is the natural log, which is base e. Okay, now notice that you want y values to be greater than 1 because ln is only defined in the real world um, with um, over the positive numbers. So it's only defined for positive numbers. So y must be greater than 1. So we got the x value, but uh, how do we plug it into our original equation? Notice that we replaced e to the power x plus 1 with y, so that gave us ln y. And on the right-hand side, you have 2 times x, which is 
2 times ln y minus 1. Now, how do you solve such an equation? Like, if I, if somebody gave you an equation like, hey, ln y over ln y minus 1 is equal to 2, and then how do you solve it, right? You can use ba change of base, obviously, or uh, you can also use power properties. So you can go ahead and move this to, and obviously, as long as y is greater than 1, like y minus 1 is positive, this is good. You can go ahead and move the power, but that kind of changes the domain because if now y doesn't have to be greater than 1, but it has to be greater than 1. Anyways, so you can kind of figure that out. But this gives us ln y equals ln y minus 1 squared because the power rules. And from here, we can safely drop the ln and just say, hey, y minus 1 squared should equal y. If you expand, you get y squared minus 2y plus 1 equals y. And if you subtract y, you get y squared minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. This is also a quadratic, and it has two solutions. Let's go ahead and write them. y1 is going to be 3 plus root 5 over 2. That is negative b plus minus 2 squared to b squared minus 4ac. b squared is 9. 9 minus 4 is 5, so on and so forth. Okay, hopefully you get the idea. And y sub 2 is 3 minus root 5 over 2. So the question is, are both of these solutions valid? And thinking back to method 1 or first method, we know that um, it's not the case. But how do you check that, right? We have two values, and we want uh, y values to be greater than 1. Remember, that was the condition, because we are looking at ln y minus 1, y minus 1 has to be positive. So the question is then, are both of these y values greater than 1? For example, is 3 plus root 5 over 2 greater than 1? And the answer is yes, because definitely even the 3 halves without the root 5, the addition of root 5, is going to be greater than 1. So this is definitely greater than 1. But what about the other number? 3 minus root 5 over 2, is it greater than 1? So I'm going to put a question mark, and in order for... Um, in order to find out, I can do this. I can just go ahead and subtract these numbers and see if this difference is going to be positive or not. If you make a common denominator, you get 3 minus root 5 minus 2 divided by 2, and that is 1 minus root 5 over 2. And as you know, root 5 is greater than 1, therefore this is a negative value, which means this is negative, which means 3 minus 5 over 2 is less than 1, which means it's not a valid solution because our y values, the requirement for our y values was y is greater than 1. But in this case, it isn't, so we're just going to discard this 3 minus root 5 over 2 value. All right? So we're going to go with the other value, but it's just the y value, remember. So what I'm trying to say is, hey, this is not valid, and I believe I called it y sub 2. So y sub 2 doesn't count. But y sub 1 does, and it's 3 plus root 5 over 2. Now remember, y is equal to what? y is equal to e to the power x plus 1. So let's go ahead and back substitute. y is equal to e to the power x plus 1, and that is equal to 3 plus root 5 over 2. Okay, what am I going to do? Well, here's another thing, though. I noticed... You can do it this way, but there's a faster way to do it, and it is by using the x values directly. Because remember, when we sub, we got x equals ln, uh-oh, we got x equals ln y minus 1. So why don't we just go ahead and use this value? So x is equal to ln y minus 1. That, that was actually the equation that gave us the idea that y should be greater than 1. So now, if you go ahead and substitute... 3 plus root 5 over 2 here, right? Then you get x equals ln 3 plus root 5 over 2 minus 1. If you make a common denominator and subtract, you should be getting 1 plus root 5 over 2 and the ln of it. And then this pretty much brings us to the end of this video, but let's go ahead and take a look at the graph. I just wanted to show you what the graphical representation looks like. So here I have y equals ln e to the power x plus 1, along with y equals 2x, which is a straight line that passes through the origin. And they intersect at the following point, ln 
1 plus root 5 over 2. So this is the x value we have been looking for. And this brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.